Right, ladies and gentlemen, we are ready for about 11 this evening, so would you welcome to the cage, Steiner Kronstad. Now, would you welcome to the cage, Ryan Osgood. international welterweight amateur mixed martial arts over three three-minute rounds of action and in the blue corner he weighed in at 168.9 pounds he represents the Novus Academy in Norway Steiner Kronstad and his opponent across the cage in the red corner he weighed in at 170 pounds even. He represents Premier MMA, Ryan Osgood. Your referee, Mr. Sam Amidi. International time again now, Dean. Some big internationals coming up. This one, Norway versus England. Ryan Osgood, Premier MMA. The tall of the two against Steiner Kronstadt from Norway. And Steiner's known throughout the circuit for his K1 capabilities. Let's see if he's able to adapt that to MMA here. That said, Ryan Osgood, when they clinched up there, the, the right knee to the left thigh and then looked for the trip there as he ties up with Steiner. See, Oscar has done his homework. He's initiated this clinch straight away. He's looking for the takedown. He's got the double underhooks. He's going to look to manoeuvre Steiner around. But what he needs to do is start levering away the legs. Inside trips, outside trips. Start circling him towards the trip. That's right. Then the knees there to the left thigh again of Steiner Kronstadt. Steiner keeping a nice wide base. And you see, you'll notice he'll... He'll kind of move his hips off and almost like he wants to sit down on the cage. This enables him to keep his balance and able to react from the takedown attempts from Osgood. 
Oscar very strong in this clinch. And look, there we go. There's the outside trip. Now it start. That, it was, sorry, Dean. I didn't. It was that movement, wasn't it? It was when he took him off the cage, spun. He was looking for that from the moment he took him away from that cage. Yeah, that was that pivot off. I mean, if you think back to your old school days, Malcolm, if you'd trip your friend over, you'd push him and put your foot out. And for him for not to fall on himself, he's got to put his foot down to regain his bases. So what Oscar did there is he tripped and he kept hold of that leg, turned the corner as you attributed to, almost like a pivot you would see in boxing, and enabled him to get the takedown. Now we see him on top in half guard. As you said, doing his homework, Steiner, if he's good in the K1 and upright, you're stifling that, you're snuffling out that resistance there. Oscar, nice dominant pressure, but he's got to keep active. You can see the referee there. He's looking on closely. He's looking to see if it's stagnant. He wants to stand up. And I mean, Oscar almost certainly wants this to be a grappling game. And I love the way he's firing those right knees into the body there. That's right. Looking for position again. Now, and again, Sam Media referee in there, gave the men their talk to at the rules meeting and said, I need to see work. He said, it's no good giving a couple of little rights to the body and head. He said, that doesn't interest me. You've got to be genuinely working. He made this very clear. Oscar now trying to sneak that right knee through. What he's going to try is force his knee through the, the uh, half guard there and look for the mount. But I mean, Oscar's doing a good job. He's controlling the posture and um, he's really limiting Oscar. In this position, he can't posture up. He make it very difficult to pass. And the referee is talking there. You might see a stand-up. Well, Ryan Osgood again, looking to use that right knee when he can. But there's just 10 seconds left. And you've got to say, from the moment he got the takedown, this is Osgood's round, isn't it? Yeah, complete domination, top control, beautiful takedown. And he's, he's, he's keeping busy just enough to keep the ref off his back, Malcolm. So as the corners leave the cage for the start of round two, you've got to be honest and say Ryan Osgood will probably look for exactly the same start when they do. Steiner's got to keep his distance. You see the way he's moving his feet there, he's circling the way, he's keeping very light on his feet, and the key here, he's on the balls of his feet. He'll look to disengage and negate the clinch game. Well, there you go. He wanted to do that, landed some good shots, but even while he was getting here, Osgood was wanting the tie-up, and he got it. And that dates to jiu-jitsu even pre-93 to take a few glancing blows to initiate that takedown and then suck the person down to the floor where ultimately you're going to be better than them if you know that. So Oscar again is looking to fire those knees in. He's looking for an opportunity for Steiner to lift one of those legs up to block, to check the knee, and then he'll look for the trip. Because Steiner did nothing wrong. It was the right tactic. It was just that, as you said, Ryan was happy to eat a couple of shots to make sure it didn't happen. And again, looking for that change. Yeah, he's looking to, to get one of those legs off the ground, and again, just like we saw in round one, just circle off, pivot round to the side that he's tripping. I mean, Steiner's doing a great job of kind of nullifying a little bit here, but he needs to start working the underhooks to funnel his right arm in and underneath Oscar and just serve to disengage. Well, he's doing a good job with his left knee as well, but there again, you can see Osgood went for the trip, didn't, and Steiner was aware of it this time. And you can see desperate to disengage, isn't he? Yeah, Steiner can, again, work those, those double underhooks there. You see, trying to, he's trying to funnel his right arm in there as the separation that happened, but if he can get the arm, forearm across Oscar, he can, he can create some space. And again, you can see Steiner wary of the tie-up. He's looking to use those lanes, but again, he's against an actually taller opponent. But there's the, the heavy hands of Steiner, but again, Oscar eats it. He's cut. Oscar is cut on the bridge of his nose, Dean, yeah. taking those shots to get the tie-up. And again, it looks like the blood's running down his nose, so it's not going to affect his vision, you know, it's not broken his nose, so, I mean, he's just going to keep working here from this position. He's got over-under, we call it um, a 50% position, because you've got one underhook and one overhook, so it's more or less even. Um, but, I mean, Oscar utilising the dominant pressure, he's forcing his weight forward, utilising the cage very well, firing the knees to keep busy. Because, again, he worked hard and, and he ate some shots, evidently, from his head to get into this position. He doesn't want to give up too easy, Malcolm. And by the same token, Steiner wants the referee to do exactly like he did before, split them up, where he can do the sort of damage we've seen already. That was two strikes, so he's accurate and he's hurtful. It's a back-and-forth game of initiating the clinch and taking the distance to strike. An age-old tactic here in MMA, we've seen that in the LFC. And Oscar firing that knee backwards, but the ref is still enough and he wants to get separation again. And this is where Steiner, with just 10 seconds left, will have to capitalise on this. 
Stein. It looks like he's trying to set up that left hook. He's going to loop him with that left hook and fire the right hand. There we go. Oh, that one with him just at the end of the round there. Oscar just made it. So we enter the third and final round, and I just felt that Steiner did a better job of understanding and negating his opponent there in the second. Yeah, he's, he's really understood that he needs to disengage and keep that distance. You can see here, he's light on his back feet, far on the one-two. He needs to serve to use those underhooks more viciously to fire his arm, like, almost like he wants to reach to the ceiling, Malcolm, and then circle off and push Oscar off. Yes, it's been a frustrating time in many ways for both men because you could see there isn't a clearer distinction in styles, is there? They, they really are opposites. And each man, through one of his own skills, has managed to negate the skills of his opponent. And Oscar now, again in the 50-50 position, he's going to have much more success if he can get double underhooks. And there we go. Now we see the double underhook position. Both of his arms under the armpits and clasped around the back of Steiner. And Steiner, those little knees, trying to keep it upright. He'll try and tie him up, just like he did before, so the ref will separate them and try and utilise that space. Steiner now able to get the left underhook to even the, the playing field out. Just gives him more balance, more ability to negate the movement and the circles of Oscar. And, the, and the, really, the, the takedown offence from Oscar is kind of being stifled here due to the underhooks, the battle for underhooks in this position, and both athletes need to be looking for that dominant position. Well, that's what I said to you, Dean. I feel it is such a contrast of styles that it can work in your favour or against you. And it seems to me that both men have sorted out the game plan of the other. And as you said, the key here is stifling. I feel that's what they've done to each other. Oscar looking for the double, reaching out wide, but he needs to make, make him aware of that underhook. That is what's really separating him from that double, double leg takedown, the left arm of Steiner. And it's a frustrating time, but Osgood sticking to the task at hand. You know what he wants. Steiner, I think, will be happy to see Sam Amidi pat them both on the back. And, oh, he manages to disengage himself, but Ryan again uses that as an opportunity to get better positioning. Only for a second, but he utilised those vicious underhooks, and that's what I'm talking about when he needs to reach to the sky like he's getting... Oh, there we can see a takedown from Osgood. That could yeah. be the key to this bout as well, Dean, I feel, this late in the game. Yeah, Osgood now on top and he's just able to maintain this position. Unless Steiner can use the use the cage to cage walk. He's, I mean, if, if he hip escapes towards the cage and plants the hand and um, uses it to, to sit up, he might have some success there. But, I mean, Oscar's just so good from the top position, but he did a great job of obtaining the full guard. Yeah, Steiner in defensive mode again, but as I said, it's key in this bout, and I feel that that takedown that Osgood worked so hard for will be key to this result as well. Oscar now looking to pass the guard. He's going to look to circle round to the left side there. Steiner is kind of sensing that. What he's trying to do is fire his hips back. He's got to think about using the switch, not giving up his back here. He needs to put some weight down on, onto the, the head. There we go, see the head stuff? Yep. And then he's going to use the case to walk up, Malcolm. But I think it's right at the end of the round here, and I think Oscar, that was key, that takedown, and I think key to a successful victory here. Ladies and gentlemen, three hard rounds of international MMA. Please, both your men in this cage, huge round of applause. But we do have your winner by way of unanimous decision. He is in the red corner, Ryan Osgood. OK, ladies and gentlemen, here with your winner, Ryan Osgood. Now, Ryan, that was a tough-fought fight. You obviously did your homework on your opponent, and you really stifled him to look for the takedown. Was that the game plan all along? I saw in his last fight that the guy pushed him against the cage, and he didn't feel as comfortable. I was told he's 1-0 in MMA, but in doing my research, he's got quite an extensive K1 background. So I did my research. I was going to put the pressure on him. He caught me coming in, obviously, but that's part of the game. And you, you were able to get into the clinch and you used the cage very well. Were you looking for the doubles or was it the outside trips you were looking for for the leverage? Uh, I was looking for that outside single trip. Uh, that works in the first round. Second round, he stuffed it quite well. 
So I was just pummeling away at the legs to make them a bit weaker. Third round, double underhooks, single leg trip again. It did the job, I'm happy. I wouldn't like to have gotten cut. I was meant to be working tomorrow, but I took the day off, so thankfully I don't have to go in. Builds character, man, great job. You, ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Ryan Osgood.